What's up guys? Today we're gonna try out a text to speech generator that claims to have solved the biggest problem that people have with AI voices, which is that they sound really robotic. It's called Revoicer and the ads I keep seeing on YouTube for Revoicer claim that you can set their text to speech voices to convey certain emotions to make them sound more natural. If this is true, it is definitely a big deal, but I've been around long enough to know that these ads are so misleading. So we're gonna try Revoicer today together. I've paid for this with my own money. This video is not sponsored. I always give you my honest opinions. You guys know that. All right, let's just dive right into it. So here is the Revoicer pricing structure. I am on the most popular, it claims, pro plan which is $47 a month. So that is the plan that I am on. Now, when you first sign up for Revoicer, you get this welcome screen. And here's the problem that I'm having right off the bat. In the meantime, I recommend that you scroll down on this page to find all the Revoicer resources and to watch the onboarding video tutorial that will teach you how to use Revoicer at maximum. In case so it tells me that I should scroll down to find the instructions for Revoicer. But when I scroll down, you guys, there is no tutorial to be found. There's like what to do if you can't log into your new account, how to open a ticket, and then all these downloads, but literally no instructions whatsoever. So the next thing I did was I headed over to their YouTube channel to see what I could find there. And at present, these are the only videos on their YouTube channel, and there's no instructions here either. I did watch this one here that kind of gave me some guidance about how to use the program, but we're kind of just flying blind here today, but we're gonna try our best. So here is what Revoicer looks like when you first open it, and you can preview the different voices. I do wanna point out that I've got my language set to English US, and yet, it has the uh, British flag here. Just wanted to point that out. So here are the different voices that are included in the English US category. Hello, I'm one of the voices from Revoicer. My name is Kayla. I'm one of the most popular voices from Revoicer. I can read your text in a normal or angry tone. And you can see some of these here are the standard voices. They've got the blue circle around them. And then these ones here, in green are the pro voices. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on today. This one here claims she is the most advanced. My name, My name is Nova, and I'm the most advanced voice from Revoicer. I can be goofy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Eek. <laughs> or I can even tell jokes. Do you ever wake up, kiss the person next to you, and be glad that you are alive? Okay, I still think she sounds robotic, but let's just try it out. So in the demo video I saw on Revoiceover's YouTube channel, the user just highlighted the text and then changed the tone here. So let's make this one angry. Let's select this one and make it cheerful. This one will be excited. This one will set to friendly and so on and so forth. All right, let's generate the audio and let's hear how she sounds. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. This is what I sound like when I'm cheerful. This is what I sound like when I'm excited. Okay, it did the entire script in the whispering tone, but that's not what the demo video showed at all. It, it implied that I could highlight different sections of the script and get different types of reads. I don't really know what to do with this. All right, let's just go back and just listen to what the different tones sound like. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. This is what I sound like when I'm cheerful. This is what I sound like when I'm excited. This is what I sound like when I'm friendly. This is what I sound like when I'm hopeful. This is what I sound like when I'm sad. This is what I sound like when I'm shouting. This is what I sound like when I'm terrified. This is what I sound like when I'm unfriendly. This is what I sound like when I'm whispering. All right, so of all of these tones, the ones that I think kind of sounded the most true to life were, I guess, angry. I thought sad was pretty good. And I thought unfriendly was definitely good. And the whispering wasn't quite whispering, but definitely a different sound. So that part was okay. But I still think these sound robotic. And also the functionality of this is not 
what the YouTube video I watched would have you believe. The other options that that demo video showed you was that you could change, let's say the speaking rate. So let's select this one here. This is what I sound like when I'm excited and let's speed that up. Okay, that one has turned green, which makes me wonder if just that line when we generate the audio will be faster. So I'm going to generate this audio and let's see if that line in particular sticks out to us. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. This is what I sound like when I'm cheerful. This is what I sound like when I'm excited. Yeah, I definitely felt like that line felt a little faster. What if we add a pause here? And then what is this emoji button? Like, what does this do? Let's generate that and see what that sounds like. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. Rare. <laughs> Wait a second. Each of these emojis is going to have a different funny sound. Well, I feel like we need to try more of those. Rare. Rock on, BB. Mwah. Party. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> Grr. Ag. This is what I sound like when I. Wow, that's a lot. Um, some of those things, I don't know when you would work them into a script, but I guess it's good to know that you can. Let's just try some of these other voices before I give you my final thoughts. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. Smiling face with hard eyes, sign of the horns, kiss mark, party popper, grinning face, face with tears of joy, face blowing a kiss, pile of poop, pouting face, face screaming in fear. So this Tyler doesn't say all of those emoji lines. He just describes what the emojis are. That's good to know. But actually, I kind of like Tyler's voice of all of these text to speech um, programs that I've like reviewed on this channel. Tyler's voice definitely sticks out to me. Um, and I would say he does kind of sound, you know, they're always a little robotic, but he does have a unique tone to his voice. So I do like that. Let's listen to a few more. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. Smiling face with hard eyes, sign of the horns, kiss mark, party popper, grinning face, face with tears of joy, face blowing a kiss, pile of poo, pouting face, face screaming in fear. Okay, and then let's try some of the standard voices because I know some of you guys are going to be on the standard plan. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. Smiling face with hard eyes, sign of the horns, kiss mark, party popper, grinning face, face... Okay, it definitely seems to me that Nova is the only one that can make all of those emoji sounds. And in her preview demo, it did say she was the most advanced voice. So that's what they must have meant by that. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. A one, this is what I sound like when I'm cheerful. Okay. All right. So let me give you my final thoughts on Revoicer. I definitely think that there's a huge gap between the pro level voices and the standard voices. The standard voices just sound like the same old robotic stuff we're used to and that we're all hoping gets better. The pro voices, in my opinion, are an improvement. Do I think they pass for real person voices? No. Do I ever think that? Pretty much never. Um, so I definitely think if you're interested in this, it's worth going up to the pro plan. The standard voices are the kind of thing you can find, like, I don't know, for free on other like platforms and stuff like that. So I don't think the standard is worth it. I also feel a little bit deceived by the functionality of Revoicer because what was shown to me in that demo video is not at all accurate as to what the workflow is here on Revoicer. I obviously think that they're lacking any sort of tutorial information and maybe they're a new company, but why are you launching if you're not going to show people how to use your product? Because someone like me is going to come around with a big voice and tell people that your product is lacking. So Revoicer definitely needs to get on the tutorial videos. I could not find those tutorials anywhere. Um, for Revoicer. So that is my opinion about Revoicer. Do I think it's worth it? No, 47 bucks a month. I don't. But if you really liked these voices, I say go for it. If you like the idea of being able to control the emotions somewhat on the pro level voices, then okay, have at it. That's my honest take, you guys. If you like this video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell. I picked out some other videos I know you're going to love, and I will see you again.